What is happening to black people in America right now, family, this is bigger than politics. It's bigger than what you see on the news. Black people, our people, you and me, we are at spiritual war and we have no friends. And sometimes we are our own worst enemy. But we have these massive spirits of deception, jealousy, lies, hate, greed, lust, degeneracy, insecurity that is just destroying individuals, destroying our culture, destroying our families. But we are not without hope. We have ourselves, our ancestors, and we have hoodoo. So family, in this video, I have four recommendations that I wanna share with you that will help to keep you safe for the rest of the year. But before I jump in, if you haven't already, go check out my hoodoo basic training textbook on my website. There's a link in the description. If you're serious about learning traditional hoodoo, this book is a great place to start because I'm not just describing hoodoo work. I'm giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. So there's lessons, there's quizzes to test your knowledge, there's hands-on assignments, there's rituals, spells that cover love, money, protection, uncrossing, sweetening works, enemy work. I even have a uh, lesson on foot tracks. So the link is in the description if you're serious about learning traditional hoodoo. So family, listen to me very carefully. The rest of this year will have some challenges, but it's nothing that we can't overcome because in the 400 years we've been here or more, we've been through all kinds of negative influences, negative acts, violence against us. So there's nothing that can go on for the rest of this year that we cannot and will not survive. But now is the time to build a spiritual hedge of protection around yourself and your loved ones. This is what hoodoo is for. So here are four things that I recommend that you do for the rest of this year. Number one, family, I know that you're tired of me saying this, but the first thing, the most absolute thing you need to do is connect consistently with your ancestors, not in just one situation of your life, but all aspects of your life. Family, work with them, not against them. And you do this in the choices and the things that you do in your life. What I mean by this is that you can't praise them in one area of, of your life and then turn around and shame them in another area. So get your house in order because you're gonna need your ancestors as we go through the remainder of this year. Number two, keep your home space spiritually cleansed and do this more frequently. Because of all the negativity going on right now, Spiritually cleanse your home every weekend. I recommend doing this every weekend with your preferred hoodoo method. So however you like to cleanse your home, family do that every weekend for the rest of this year. And if you don't have a method, you can simply start by burning dragon's blood and sage in the north, the east, the south, west, and the center of your home. Use the compass on your phone to find these directions in your space. And that's where you want to uh, burn the uh, dragon's blood and the sage. And while you're burning it, pray at each one of these directions. Pray to God and your ancestors. Ask them to come in and just take control and remove anything and anyone who is a threat to you and your family. And listen, mean what you say. Don't just mumble and recite. Put some soul and strength in your words. Number three, 
You need to have an amulet on you every time you leave your house. An amulet is for protection. Now, many of you probably already have one. Maybe you have a High John the Conqueror root. That's a good amulet. Just be sure to keep it secret and hidden, but have it on your body, not in your purse, not in your pocket. Sisters, put the amulet in your bra. But here's something that everyone can do. Wear it on a string hidden under your clothes, around your neck or your waist or your ankle. The key I'm trying to emphasize here is that you want that amulet to touch your skin because it's gonna work faster and stronger for you when it's interacting with the essence of your body. So wear this amulet every day, family. I don't care if it turns raggedy, keep on putting it on. Number four, and this is very important. Family, seek the truth of all things and people that cross your path. Don't ignore the truth. When your gut instinct is telling you something about someone or a situation, you better learn to listen to it, especially for the remainder of this year. Let your actions and your words be guided by truth. The spirits of deception, the spirits of jealousy, lies, hate, greed, lust, degeneracy, and insecurity, none of these have no power over truth. So keep truth on your side, family. Stand on it. Never hesitate to use your oracle cards, your oracle bones, whatever divination system you like to use. Don't hesitate to use these to help you see and uncover the truth on the people in your life. Some of you have books, you have cards and all kinds of divination sets, but will still go and pay someone else to do divination for you. Family, take some time and learn how to do this for yourself. When using divination, Call on either God. I always call on the highest power or I call on a specific ancestor by name because I don't want to hear from anyone else. And if you're not sure, if you don't know anything about divination, go check out my divination, well, my soulful divination book. There's 16 systems in there that you can start using right away. The point is, learn to do your own divination. This is so important right now because there is so much deception going on. So family, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Like I said, if you want to learn traditional hoodoo, please check out my hoodoo basic training book. And if you want to learn divination from scratch, go check out my Soulful Divination book, 16 different systems. Learn how to read anything from a bean to a card. The link is in the description. But as always, keep building positive and good things in your life, family. That's what hoodoo is for, to help you. Use it to help yourself. So until the next video, be safe out here.